the components required for this experiment are esp32 board ds18 b20 waterproof temperature sensor 1 kilo ohm resistor connecting wires and connecting cable Now log in to the Blink Dot Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here, click on New Template and give the template name. Temperature monitor using DS18B20 sensor. Here we are using the ESP32 board. Select ESP32 and the connection type as Wi-Fi. Then click on the Done button. Now go to Data Stream. Here we need to create two data streams. So one for the temperature and the second one for the temperature in Fahrenheit. So go to new data stream, select virtual pin. Here give the name as temperature. And select the pin as V0 and data type as double. And here give the minimum value as minus 55 and maximum value as 150. And click on the create button. Now create the second data stream. Again go to new data stream, select virtual pin, here give the name as temperature in Fahrenheit. Here select the pin as V1, data type as double and the minimum value is minus 65 to 200. And click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard and here drag to gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the first gauge and here choose temperature data stream. If you want we can change this color and click on the save button. Now go to the settings of the second gauge. Here choose the data stream temperature in Fahrenheit and click on the save button. Now save the template. Now go to devices. Here click on new device and then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Select that and click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in our program. Then we need to install these libraries Blink, OneWire and Dallas Temperature libraries and then enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password and then upload the program to the ESP32 board. To upload the program, go to this drop down. Here select this port. Here the port is selected and we are using ESP32 board and we need to select ESP32 dev module. And click on the OK button. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, temperature monitor using DS18B20 sensor. And here go to settings, click the plus button from the bottom. Here also we need to add two gauge widgets like we did in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the first gauge, here choose the data stream as temperature. Go to Design, here give the title as Temperature. Now go back, now click the second gauge. Here choose the data stream as Temperature in Fahrenheit. Go to Design and give the same title. Now go back and again click the Back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output. 